Hello world! Today we're working on a Jeep Grand Cherokee 5.2 liter. Now I went ahead and included the picture of the serpentine belt diagram. I do have it uh, posted up when I'm installing the belt so you'll see that uh, on there. Now we're gonna go ahead and start off by removing the idler pulley. Uh, part of why we're doing this instead of removing the serpentine belt is because the belt uh, I would say shredded on this vehicle and there's not much left of it or there's some but obviously not on the pulleys. Luckily it didn't damage anything else aside from this idler pulley. You'll see that uh, I have to pry it out um, after I take this and this bolt off. Uh, and I put it there that it is a 15 millimeter bolt or uh, an SAE size. You may have to look up that one since I tend to use uh, metric sockets instead of SAE sockets. Now this is where the damaged pulley is. It pretty much ate up the bearing, started sliding backwards. Luckily it didn't damage the alternator casing. Um, or the bracket where it sits at so we were able to just pry that booger off get a little bit of that metal that was on there uh, when you're taking this off make sure that you capture the washers uh, there's one in the back and there's one in the front so I dropped one so I have to fetch it and uh, but after you get that it's easy Put this guy back on. Now you'll see that uh, luckily none of the other pulleys got damaged, which is good. You know, we would have had to replace more things at that point, but. Luckily we don't have to. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening this guy up. So, uh, this is a pretty quick one. Now if you f find this video helpful or uh, find any of the other videos helpful, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you want to stay tuned for other videos that might come up if they're related to whatever you might be working on or vehicles that you have, you know, then hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps out. The more people that uh, we can reach, the faster we can grow. This car is a little bit interesting because it sits in its in the garage most of the time. Uh, it's pretty low mileage. So for that to happen, it's pretty interesting. Uh, sometimes I have seen worse where one accessory pulley will damage another one and so on and so forth. Luckily this one wasn't too bad. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and try to install this serpentine belt. We're going to guide it through. Now the diagram will pop up again. If you didn't see it in the beginning, then you can either go back to the beginning, pause it right now when it comes up, or screenshot it. There's the diagram. Now this diagram is pretty helpful, especially when you're trying to put this guy back on because you don't always remember which way it goes, where to feed it through. Now I start by the farthest on the right uh, after I guide it, put it over, under, over, so forth and so forth. And then finally I leave the tensioner pulley last so you'll see that uh, I have to go underneath a little bit and uh, guide it through the compressor and the crankshaft pulley. Once I have it set in there, then it's easier to finish it, the install. Uh, now I'm going to pull this and get my ratchet wrench in there. Put it on the 15mm 
Go ahead and turn that clockwise. Start installing the belt. And that's it, you're done. You would just wanna make sure that it's sitting properly on all the pulleys. Uh, and then you should be good to go. Alrighty, that's it. Take care.